KCBX contributor Angel Russell speaks to local gym and movie theater owners to find out what the holdup is and what it'll be like for customers once the doors reopen. California's thumbs up to allow movie theaters to reopen this weekend doesn't necessarily mean most theaters will. Cineworld, which owns the Regal Theater chain in Arroyo Grande and Santa Maria, expects all of its theaters to reopen in July. The owner of Central Coast Cinemas in Paso Robles, John Rausch, is also planning a July reopening for a specific reason. He says distributors held most of their blockbusters back to release in summer, and that's why most movie theaters won't open until those films are out. So the first picture we actually that, that's brand new is July 1st, and that's unhinged from the new Solstice Studios. After that, Warner Brothers' Tenant will be released July 17th, and then Disney's Mulan in August. So Roush says movie theaters will probably be playing older movies to get people to come in. Like we're considering Independence Day, uh, Avatar, E.T., Things that people might, especially young people, have never had the opportunity to see in a motion picture theater. Your theater experience will also be a lot more roomy, since movie theaters will have to limit capacity to 25% of normal or 100 people, whichever is smaller. Every other row will be kept empty, so people are six feet apart, and then we'll have seats in between that are blocked off so people can't sit by strangers. Rouse says while most people probably streamed movies while sheltering at home, he's not worried about people not returning to the cinemas. People love the movie. That's all there is to it. It's a social event to go to the theaters and, and watch it on the big screen. You can't get that experience at home. Comedies are funnier in a the theater. Scary movies are more scary. And I expect that we will recapture that audience. Gyms can also begin reopening as of June 12th. Owner of San Luis Obispo's Athlon Fitness and Performance, Ryan Joyner, says right now gyms are just trying to sort out the rules and guidelines to do so. It's like a big puzzle, and uh, the anxiety would be partly excitement to figure out a new strategy, to figure out a new way to do this, to rearrange the facility. Uh, it's a lot of work. Joyner says that's exactly what his and other gym owners are doing, moving equipment, training staff on new cleaning policies, and getting through the paperwork with the county. He says the bigger challenge, though, is that they have to change the environment most people enjoy going to a fitness center for. In the end, it's, it's almost simple. It's keep everybody six feet apart. But in a fitness environment that's never had to do that, in fact, you know, I mean, that's kind of the fitness world is there's a lot of cheerleading and rah-rah and, and camaraderie and high-fiving, and now we're actually asking everyone to stay, stay away from each other. Joyner says when he reopens on Monday, there will be space between equipment to maintain social distance, smaller class sizes, separate entrance and exit doors, and his staff will be having to sanitize each equipment between uses. But after months of closure, Joyner says he knows people are aching to get back into their workout routines. People have been waiting long enough, and we've been waiting long enough, and we've done everything to make sure the precautions are taken to make sure it's as safe as possible, and we're going to move forward. As the state relaxes its stay-at-home orders, California's businesses are racing to adjust to the necessary changes to reopen. Reporting for KCBX News, I'm Major Russell in San Luis Obispo.